They have lost customers, they have lost sleep, but the owners of a Euclid daycare refuse to lose the business they hold dear. The state wants to revoke the license of Get Ready, Set, Grow Child Care Center, claiming that it did not report suspicions that Anaya Day Garrett was being abused. The four-year-old girl was allegedly murdered by her mother in mid-March. Jordan Vandenberg talked with the daycare's attorneys today. Live now with a story you will only see on 5. Well, the daycare's owners have notified the state that they are requesting a hearing to fight off these allegations, and those allegations, they say, are completely baseless. Scott Frompson and Randy Hard have been retained by the owners of Get Ready, Set, Grow in their fight to keep their business open. Frompson and Hart have to prove what their clients didn't know and what they didn't see, something they say will be difficult. How would they be able to defend themselves here? The, the, state, is, the state is essentially saying you didn't uh, report this child abuse. Well, the, the reason that it wouldn't have been reported is because they didn't see any evidence of it. That is a serious allegation. They're upset about it because they had absolutely no knowledge of any incident of abuse. Attorneys for the daycare owners describe the state's allegations as not being supported by reliable substantial evidence. They point to this complaint that prompted the investigation, which they believe is void of detail. It's in stark contrast to the complaint that prompted the investigation into Anaya's other daycare, Harbourcrest Child Care Academy. Records show that program documented injuries on Anaya's body more than a dozen times. It too could have its license revoked, but it's also social workers who handled Anaya's cases that Frompson believes should shoulder some of the blame. A social worker present from the county who heard Anaya tell her, my mommy hurts me, my mommy hits me, and nothing was done. And Harbourcrest Child Care Academy has also followed suit and they will request a hearing uh, to plead their case to the state. No hearing date has been set in either case. The state officials tell me that this process could take as much up to a year. Reporting live in Cleveland, Jordan Vandenberg, News 5.